tools that you will need for the PCRU iSplice include scissors, knife, marker, tape, whipping twine, and sewing needle. Before starting the splice, pre-cut your chafe sleeve to a length equal to 100 times the diameter of the rope. Slide the chafe sleeve well down the body of the rope so that it is out of the way while performing the splice. The first mark you will make on the rope, known as mark A, will be located a distance equal to 90 times the diameter of the rope from the end. Mark B is located by measuring from mark A a distance equal to twice the intended eye size. Next, make six marks on the rope. The spacing between the marks, starting from B, should be equal to six rope diameters. Then make four additional marks, marks 1A through 4A, with the spacing between the marks being equal to four rope diameters. Form the eye by aligning marks A and B. Then use whipping twine to seize the two sides together. Whipping should cover a distance of at least two rope diameters. The ends of the whipping twine can be melted to secure them in place. The next step is to remove the cover from the rope's tail from the eye down to the bitter end. Using a sharp knife, at a location approximately three rope diameters from the whipping you just performed. Use a shaving action to carefully cut the cover yarns. Care should be taken not to cut the internal core yarns.
Once all the cover yarns have been cut, slide the cover off the bitter end of the rope. Next, remove the gauze tape. Since the core is made of parallel fibers, you can run your knife down the axis of the rope to cut the leading edge of the tape. Once the tape is cut free, slide the tape off the bitter end of the rope. On the short section of cover that we had left, to keep the cover from unbraiding, add whipping. The whipping should be at least one rope diameter in length. Separate the core yarns into four equal bundles. Put the rope under a moderate amount of tension, about 30 to 40 pounds, prior to braiding the core yarns. <laughs> 